This is the Lowepro Transit Backpack 350AW. Hi, this is Dan from Your Diary, and today we're going to take a look at the Lowepro Transit Backpack. It has an MSRP of $119.99. It comes in this color. That's it. Um, it is one of two transit camera bags that Lowepro recently announced. There is this, which is the backpack, and there's a slightly less expensive, slightly smaller sling version of this. This is pretty typically low pro. It's, it's well made, not overly done, has good features, and I thought we would take a quick look around it. I've been using this backpack pretty religiously for the last uh, week and a half, two weeks, and it's been serving me really, really well. Um, you have a nice carry pack handle right here, which works really well. You've got nicely padded Shoulder straps, not overly done, but not too minimalistic. They do give you this chest strap here, and the chest strap can be adjusted up or down so that you can get the right fit, something that we've seen on a lot of Low Pro's backpacks. You also have a waist strap, which is hidden in here, but if you need it, you can pull it out, and it'll give you a little bit of extra support when you're running around. But when you don't need it, you can tuck it away and you don't even know it's there. In fact, at first they didn't realize that the backpack had a waist strap. The reason you want the waist strap is that this is a pack that can hold a 15-inch laptop and a good bit of camera gear. It could get really, really heavy. So taking a look around the outside of the pack, over here you've got a nice loop for a tripod, which can then come down and one leg can fit here and you can potentially put the other legs in here. So you've got a tripod or a monopod locking mechanism here on the side. Very, very nice as well. On this side, you've got a zipper. We'll talk about that in one second, but there are no outside pockets. This actually opens up to the interior of the bag, so you can actually grab your stuff and go. We've seen this with a number of their other backpacks as well. Here at the top, you've got a zipper that opens up, and inside you've got not a large area but something that's good for a wallet, um, your, your cell phone, something like that. This, that's actually how I've been using this. And it's got this nice bright color inside so you can find what's there. Taking a look at the top of the bag, the grip handle is here and then this is the padded laptop compartment. As I said, it holds a 15 inch laptop. They stop the zipper here and here so it's a little bit of a tight squeeze to get the laptop in. It goes in but you don't get to slide it in without having to give it a little bit of thought. And interestingly, there's only one zipper here, there aren't two. Now, the main compartment, there are two zippers, and they come all the way down. And that's a really nice feature, because what happens when you open it up is that you get the entire interior exposed. Now, on the top here, you've got this zippered pocket, and there is a key loop inside. So you can keep your wallet and your keys in there and have pretty quick access to them. There's nothing else here, but you do have this Velcro area if you want to set it up so that you have a complete closed area between the top and the bottom. We'll talk about that in a moment as well. The interior of the bag gives you lots and lots of flexibility. You can set up any way you want. If you want to take out all of these dividers, you can do so, and you can just have one big open backpack they can use as a day pack, or you can start doing all of the divisions. There are two mesh open pockets up here as well. Now this is an interesting divider that we haven't seen a lot before, and if you take this interior divider here and drop it down, this divider actually lets you keep your camera body here and your lens going through it, so you can actually just open up the top of the bag and pull your camera out that way. Very, very thoughtful in design there as well. But this really gives you a lot of flexibility to use this camera bag in multitude of different ways and to really make the arrangements set it up the way that you want to set it up. Are you going to want to use this if you're traveling light with a small camera, a mirrorless camera like the Sony NEX6 that I've been using? Maybe not. This is a little bit of overkill for that. But if you carry a DSLR and one or two other lenses and a relatively big laptop and you want to protect them and have easy access to them, this is a really good option. I do love the fact that you can set it up so that you only zip it part way and then you have 
access just to the top. This is something we saw on the last couple of low pro backpacks that we reviewed, that you can actually keep the camera gear down here and keep this upper portion limited to only having non-camera gear using this as your storage for the day. And then if you're doing that, you can come over here, open up here, and you can grab your camera out from the side. A feature that's great because what it means is if you're wearing the backpack, you can actually take one arm off, swing the backpack around, open it up, and grab your camera gear that way. So you don't actually have to take the backpack off your back and put it on the ground to get at your camera gear. Really nice feature. There's one other aspect of this backpack that's worth noting, and that is down here there's a hidden pocket, and inside that pocket there is a raincoat that you can simply take out, pop it over the bag, and now your gear is protected. When the rain's done, you can take it, shake it out, dry it off, open up this bottom portion right here, stuff the raincoat back inside, and you don't even know it's there. I didn't think much of that feature until about a week and a half ago. I was carrying a different Low Pro product and it did start raining and I remembered that it had another rain cover just like this, pulled it out, put it over my gear and I knew that my tablet and my camera gear was safe. So that's a really nice feature that, that really will go a long way. You're not going to be using it all the time but for the times when you need it, it's really nice to have it. This is the Low Pro Transit 350AW. It has an MSRP of $119.99. This is Dan from Your Diary. Thanks for watching.